This is going to be an unboxing and review of this Securo uh, security system. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and go ahead and get into the unboxing. So this looks like a power cord maybe, or an, honestly it looks like an ethernet cable. And then kind of like a quick start guide and user's manual. And then we have some more boxes I'm going to put aside here. I'm going to slide this main portion out, and that's all that's left in the box. I'll go ahead and put that aside. So this looks like the, um, honestly like a little tablet type thing that you can see what's going on. comes in this uh, nice and secure bubble wrap here. Go ahead and tear this open to see what we're working with here. comes with some thank you notes, those are always nice, and yeah has a protective film over the screen. You can take that off we're using. Uh, this thing looks pretty cool. It has like a home button right here. Um, this is the uh, slot for the cord that we saw earlier, which is right here. So continuing the unboxing, this looks like a, uh, one of the cords here that's already attached to the uh, security camera that it comes with. Um, taking this out of the bubble wrap, camera looks pretty sleek uh, it's not that big probably the size of my hand um, it looks honestly pretty fancy in there too and it looks like there's like lights and LEDs and obviously a camera in the middle of that uh, this is metal seems very very sturdy um, looks like you can unscrew this thing so you can kind of swivel this and aim the camera where you want it to point at this is a pretty long cord so I don't have a doubt that uh, I wouldn't be able to reach where I need to plug this into. It's definitely long enough for anything that you need to run to or reach it to. And then this thing right here, this looks like some screws and some tools to set it up and probably instructions on how to do so. But yeah, let's go ahead and look into this a little further. So opening up, there's two of these boxes right here, opening these things up. I assume this is a cord that connects to this one right here. Yeah, that just kind of goes in right there. And uh, the good thing about this is this, um, the plug-in actually starts like right about here. So this kind of works as like a waterproof seal. So the electronics don't fry out if it's outside in the rain. And then taking a look at this box right here, this is another power cord. Maybe this is to plug into the, um, the tablet right here. It looks like you can plug it in on the side right there. And yep, it fits right in. I guess that's how that charges. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see what we're working with. So I now have this thing plugged into the wall and then go ahead and take off this protective film here. That's covering the screen, set that aside. And then once you plug it in, there's this little orange thing telling you how much battery it has. Um, there is a little switch right here on the side that you flip on. And once you flip that on, this switch, it turns green for a second and then their logo will pop up and this is basically saying that there isn't a camera detected it has the time and date down here as well as some other uh, features that I really don't know what it is yet so once you press the home button there's uh, six little uh, settings right here uh, this thing's completely touchscreen which is pretty cool um, once you hit camera you can cycle between all your cameras when you have them set up which I don't just yet uh, you can record this is where the settings are. You can have alerts. Uh, playback is if you take videos or anything like that. You can watch them from before. And then this one controls the volume. So let's go ahead and attach the camera to this and see how it works. So setting up the security camera is very, very easy. Once you have the monitor plugged in, all you have to do is plug this thing into an outlet, which I'm gonna do right here. And once that's plugged in, you can see how quickly it'll connect. There's no wires connecting them to. I'm honestly not sure how it connects to each other, but it does so very, very quickly. I think they may run like the same like bandwidth or something like that. But yeah, this thing works pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and press the home button here. Once you press the home button, you get back to these six settings here. And once you have a camera connected, it looks a little bit better here. Um, so you can have up to, it looks like four cameras connected. And this, this touch screen is actually very responsive. And it just shows I only have one camera set up right there. Um, but yeah, you can disconnect them and connect them just by clicking them. But 
I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the home page. Um, this looks like the record button where you can start recording, maybe take pictures and stuff like that. There's a lot of different settings in here. Um, it looks like you can even schedule how long you want them to be recording or when you want them to be recording. There's a lot of cool features on here. Just keep going through the screens here. This is the settings. You can set the time and date, uh, the battery, how like how quickly it'll turn off. Uh, and just some more settings going down here, like what language you want it in and stuff like that. And there's the firmware updates whenever those are needed. And then when you click alert, these there's a bunch of different screens here. You can set uh, motion alerts, uh, unlink alert. Uh, low battery alert, this is probably for the monitor, or maybe the camera itself, uh, and then how loud you want it to be. And then playback is if you have any videos or photos or anything, you can see them right here in the files. And then volume, and then volume is how loud you want this little monitor to be, so if you have it all the way down, you can hardly hear it, but if you click the loudest one, it gets a lot louder. And having it this loud would be pretty helpful if this is not somewhere near you, like whether it's at your front door or in the kitchen, you can definitely hear this from far away. So overall, this camera works great. Going back to the camera right here, uh, the picture is very clear. Uh, recording seems very, very easy. And overall, I think this is a very cool product.